This is WLWT News 5 leading the way with breaking news. A person drove up onto a sidewalk and hit a toddler in a stroller. Good evening, I'm Molly Lair. Cincinnati police say that driver took off after the crash on the Hopple overpass. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin is live with the latest on that child's injuries. Dan. Yeah, well, Molly, the scene just reopened here. Police just clearing it just seconds ago, really. But the pieces are starting to come together about what happened here. Cincinnati police telling us that a man has been detained in this case. They say this was initially a hit and run. The two year old was in a stroller that was mangled after a vehicle hopped the curb and hit him. Investigators say the child was taken in a car to Cincinnati Children's Hospital with life threatening injuries. Cincinnati police were focused on a red Dodge Ram at a nearby BP station. They say that is the truck that was involved in this case. It was marked off with yellow tape and a number of officers and cruisers were visible there. Neighbors say this bridge is the only connection for many around here to get groceries and go to stores and cars fly. You see a lot of cars, it just, you must not have any speed limit because nobody pays any attention to it. I have the fastest 55 miles an hour I've ever seen on an expressway. And just seconds ago, I asked Cincinnati police, how is this little boy doing? It's a two year old little boy. They tell me he is in critical condition right now. Hopple Street is back open. Traffic is moving along as that little boy fights for his life. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.